20 to Ready is brought to you in part by FoodInsurance.com, a daily bread company. Food Insurance provides freeze-dried emergency food storage and supplies. More information is available at FoodInsurance.com. Changing out your furnace filter often will keep it running well, but your furnace won't be running at all without electricity or the natural gas most of us use to burn to keep warm. And long-term loss of electricity or fuel is a real possibility in a natural disaster like an earthquake or a severe storm. Today we're going to take a look at how to keep warm when the power's out. Meet Kurt, a busy dad who's concerned about getting his family prepared for a disaster. And here's Jeff, a public safety official who's an expert on getting ready for the unexpected. Together they'll find ways to prepare that don't take a lot of time. Put your foot in, push it. Push your foot out. There. Okay, where's your other hand? Like Snow suits, long underwear, parkas, gloves, wool socks, and hats will help keep us warm in an unheated house. Very cold, Whitney. Here. Oh, give hug, hug, hug. Ah. Good job. Good job. Extra blankets, quilts, or comforters can make sleeping at night bearable in a cold house. The safest way to provide emergency heat is to invest in a portable generator. Make sure you invest in some heavy-duty long extension cords. Your generator is going to have to be outside due to the exhaust fumes. Therefore, you're going to need the long extension cords to hook to your appliance and plug into your generator. Check with your city's fire department or the fire marshal to make sure you know how much fuel you can legally store at your home. Okay, for heat, we're going to use a convection style electric space heater, which circulates oil through these veins and then the air passes through that as it heats up. It's the safest type to use indoors. The generator and space heater won't warm the entire house, so we've decided to pick just one room to heat up. And we need to make sure that the generator is placed close enough to the house so our heavy duty extension cord will reach. A properly installed fireplace that can burn solid fuels can be a great asset during an emergency. A fireplace insert is an improvement on standard fireplaces because heat is projected out opposed to going up through the chimney. A freestanding stove is an excellent source of heat, both wood and coal. But make sure if you're burning coal that your stove is rated to handle that. And don't forget to have a carbon monoxide detector in your home that has a battery backup. Going without heat for an extended amount of time is a challenge. So take 20 minutes to carefully consider if you have the right kind of clothing on hand in case the heat goes out. Then take another 20 minutes and plan for the kind of alternative fuel for heating that would best suit your needs. I'll see you next time. Visit kbyutv.org to get your free 20 to ready emergency preparedness guide. Twenty to Ready is brought to you in part by FoodInsurance.com, a daily bread company.